for this fifth walkthrough, uh, we're at a part where we don't need the gizmo. Uh, we just have to do some math. That's going to come in handy later. So if we read right here for uh, question five, extension one, the formula for potential energy is potential energy equals M times G times H. And this is a little bit different from what we learned in the book. In the book, we learned it's just weight times height. Well, this is another way to uh, look at potential energy using mass and gravity instead of weight. Weight is really just mass times gravity. So in this formula, PE stands for potential energy. It's in joules. M stands for mass, which will be in kilograms. And H stands for height in meters. G stands for acceleration caused by gravity. So just G for gravity. On Earth's surface, G is 9.8 meters per second squared. So basically, this G in the formula, we need to replace with 9.8. That is what um, Earth's gravity is. And so uh, when we take our mass, we're going to multiply it by 9.8. All right. So calculate the potential energy of a 20 kilogram sled at 40 meters using the information in the paragraph above that you probably just skipped. So Potential energy is going to equal mass is in uh, kilograms, which in this case is 20, so 20, uh, times uh, G, which is gravity, uh, which in the paragraph that um, students love to skip is 9.8, 9.8 times, and then the height in this is 40, okay? That's all you have to do. Uh, fact, calculate this and then uh, put that answer um in uh, joules, okay, because we're calculating energy, all right? Uh, then for this one down here, the kinetic, uh, the formula for kinetic energy is one half times mass uh, times V squared. We learn one half times mass times speed, speed squared. V is velocity, which is speed squared. So um, in this formula, Ke stands for kinetic energy in joules. M stands for mass. And the V squared stands for speed squared or speed multiplied by itself. So calculate the kinetic energy of a 20 kilogram sled moving 28 meters per second. Well, you've been doing this already. Uh, just do one half times mass times speed squared. Um, and then uh, make sure that you answer that in joules. All right. That should get you ready for something that we're going to need in activity C, but that's another walkthrough.